I got a saying, the child the village doesn't feed is the same child that'll come back and burn the village down. This is an example of that. The boy got, the boy got, uh, he got, uh, so this is all stuff out of taken out by the cops, but this just happened here in St. Louis. Right down the road. First time I saw it large, there is no forward handguard on that rifle, which is unusual. See the, the gas tube going back there. Uh, the suspects, in addition to the rifle, brought in a large quantity of ammunition. He had seven magazines of ammunition on a chest rig that he wore. He also had an additional eight magazines of ammunition in a field bag that he had carried. This doesn't include the number of magazines that he left and dumped on the stairway uh, in the corridors along the way. But it appears that he came into the building with more than 600 rounds of ammunition on his person. One of the other questions that came up yesterday uh, was there a manifesto that was left uh, when the FBI had gone through the, the vehicle that had been parked there uh, that he used to drive to the school. There was some paperwork in it. Uh, the detectives had gone through um, much of it last evening. Um, there was a document that he had created, uh, handwritten, and then there spoke about uh, his desire to, to engage in this incident, to, to conduct this school shooting. Um, I'll read one portion from that uh, uh, notebook in which he had written. He wrote, quote, I don't have any friends. I don't have any family. I've never had a girlfriend. I've never had a social life. I've been an isolated loner my entire life. This was the perfect storm for a mass shooter, end quote. So in reading this, we can see, you know, some of what's going on inside his mind. He feels isolated. He feels alone, uh, quite possibly angry and resentful of others who have um, well, he's not. He's a broken-hearted kid. He had to be shut down. He killed two people, but uh, this is a, a child that had mental health issues. And now three kids are dead. And this kid had access to 
somebody that could get some guns. That gun looks, I wouldn't be wanting to use it. It looks like it's been overly used, but he's got access as a juvenile to be able to get that kind of weaponry and that much ammo and clips. And to honor the victims of yesterday's tragedy, they shared a wide range of emotions, frustration, anger, grief. This young man was hurting and needed. But even for those Some who didn't mental health. Stand up and speak, uh, I know that tragic incidents like this. They say he didn't have a mom or a dad. And children, or teachers. It's like I always say the leaders. child, the village Let does not feed, clear. will be the child to come back and burn down the village. The lives of our children and families We've and lost over, a, well, we've had over 120 children shot this year in St. Louis. But at the local level, we want our community members to know that they are not alone. If you're experiencing trauma or other mental health concerns or just need This is why we got to quit scarring our children up. We got to take care of our children. Helpline and youth connection helpline. You can dial 988. Or you can call, if you're a young person and want to talk to someone, you can call 314-819-8802. They sent uh, or you can text be tactical and -E or no, they didn't send tactical in. They had uh, they were taking a, a police officer that was killed in the line of duty. They were in the funeral procession for that whenever this kicked off, and they were right there in the funeral possession for a fallen St. Louis police officer. Wondering if it's safe to send their children back to school in St. Louis. My son. It's not safe for our children to walk down the fucking street in St. Louis. Uh, to call me from upstairs instead of coming downstairs. That's what kids do nowadays. Um, Everybody spraying bullets. Because he, he needed to talk. Instead of getting up close and, and personal and mother, making sure who you're taking out, who you're trying to take out. Reassure your children, reassure your child that everything's going to be okay. And I honestly felt like the safest place and the best place for him today was to go back to school, to be with... It is, it's safer than on the bricks. Process, ...the teachers that care about him and the staff that care about him. But unfortunately, mass shootings, mass shootings have happened in almost every corner of our country. Suburban schools in Columbine and Parkland. Why? A rural community, Why? community in Uvalde. Because of this grim reality. Because we're not taking care of our children. St. Louis Police Department, St. Louis Public Schools, our charter schools, and the Mayor's Office of Children, Youth, and Families have been conducting frequent trainings on how to respond to emergency situations like what we experienced yesterday. Trainings and active if we'd have responded before that responded as quickly as they did. And got this young man that was and hurt like and some help. Dr. Michael Brown, Deputy Superintendent of Student Support Services for St. Louis Public Schools. Thank you. Good morning. Um, at this time we are supporting our school and the community. Uh, this morning we activated Three Back in my day, we have an you got in a fist fight after school or somewhere where teachers couldn't see you was the main idea, usually after school, or you got in a fight and it was over with. And see, nowadays, too, children that get bullied. Many of our resources they can't escape from it. Back in my day, if you were getting bullied, you went home at night. Now, with social media and everything else, they get tormented 24-7. And it doesn't matter which kid. Back in my day, whoever started it got suspended. Now they suspend both. And they don't let the kids defend themselves anymore, neither. It's no different than the, they got rid of the goons in hockey, the enforcers. 
believe. And I was reading an article in the doctor's office that said that concussions have gone up greatly since they cracked down on the enforcers. There's actually more serious concussions. You know, you got a guy like Tony Twist, you got an enforcer, the Plager Brothers. Back in the day, you you know somebody going to come in and notch your head up for cross-checking a good player. You're going to think about messing with them. But when you don't got that enforcer there knotting those heads up, keeping people thinking right, you actually got more. More uh, problems. It's an all-around tragedy, though. Very lost young man, obviously mental health issues. Now there's two kids dead, plus him, three children dead. I'm sorry, high school, that's children to me. Uh, young adults. That would be on the third floor, a room adjacent to the library. I, I don't know the room number offhand, but it was on the third floor. Sure, so we're not going to talk a lot about those particular types of items because there's an ongoing investigation. The partner, of course, with the ATF looking into those matters. <laughs> the brain ATF and try to figure out where that boy got that kind of weaponry. I can almost guarantee you where he got it. Yeah, he got a, he got he got somebody right now pretty pissed off at him for getting into their shit. It's just really really sad. Really sad.